Hey everybody, what is up and welcome to Rock Gamer. And you know with Amplitude coming out in a couple days, I did a review yesterday on my channel. I wanna talk about the four things I love and hate about Amplitude. Now, you know, long before Harmonix created Guitar Hero, Rock Band, and Dance Central, they were known for a couple of games called Frequency and Amplitude. Both games were music games that dated back to like the early 2000s. I still remember being like a teen and these two games came out on the PS2. And while they weren't really commercially that successful, they were critically acclaimed. And then, you know, as the years went on, Harmonix never really followed up with any kind of sequel. You know, there was always this clamoring for like an Amplitude reboot to come to the PlayStation 3 or PlayStation 4. And just last year, Harmonix did a Kickstarter campaign um, and they were able to raise almost a million dollars for this Amplitude reboot that I'm talking about today. And, you know, as someone who never played the original Amplitude or Frequency, I was really excited to see what all the hype was about. I'd always heard about Amplitude and Frequency, but I never had a chance to play it. The closest I came to playing these games was playing 2012's Rock Band Blitz, which is still one of my favorite games that has come out over the past couple of years. Now let's look at the four things I love about the game. The first thing I love is the addictive gameplay. Once you pick up the game and you get a hand of the gameplay controls, Amplitude immediately sucks you in like Rock Band Blitz. You know, switching between the tracks, hitting the combos, getting the power-ups. There's something super addictive about this game. I always find myself saying one more song only to find myself playing an hour later. The thing I love about the game is the simplistic controls that really make it an easy game to pick up and play. You know, the game's controls are mainly limited to three buttons, R2, R1, and L1, and then you use the directional pad to cycle between the tracks, and you may have to hit the X button to deploy one of the power-ups you get. And it really makes it for an easy game for anybody who's never played the game to pick up. Like, my wife is the furthest thing from a gamer. She's able to pick it up in a matter of minutes and get the concept down pat. It's much less daunting to pick up for the first time than like Guitar Hero Live or Rock Band 4 is because you don't have this weird instrument peripheral you have to learn the buttons on. It's really simple and it's also number three, a fun multiplayer game. While it doesn't have online play, it does feature local play for up to four players. It features both competitive and cooperative uh, play and it is a great way to experience the game if you do have friends who are interested. I personally like the competitive modes a bit more just because you can like mess with the other person's tracks and you can like screw them up when they're playing the notes. And the last thing I love about the game is that the price is right. You know, in this day and age where it seems like PS4 and Xbox One games are so expensive, like so much more expensive than PS3 and Xbox 360 games, it's kind of refreshing to have a game that's reasonably priced. Like for $19.99, you get a decent amount of content with this game that'll probably keep you playing for at least a month or so. And you know, with that price, it makes it a much easier game to recommend than if it was $69.99 or $59.99. Now turning to the things I didn't like about the game, um, you know, the first thing I didn't like, I think a lot of people are not going to like, is the soundtrack. It's pretty weak, especially if you're a fan of Guitar Hero or Rock Band. You know those games always bring some amazing, well-known artists to the set list. That's really something Amplitude struggles with. There's really no well-known artists on the game, and a lot of the focus is on electronic music. If you're not into that kind of music, then I don't really know how much you're going to enjoy this game. Even the old Amplitude had some well-known artists like Weezer, um, it had Garbage, it had P.O.D., it had David Bowie, Blink-182, it even had some hard rock like I just mentioned. So it's kind of disappointing we don't see that here in, in Amplitude. And also the game only has 30 songs on disc. I think it's unlikely we'll see DLC, so the longevity of the game may be limited to just those 30 tracks. The number two thing I didn't like about the game was the lack of online play. It's become a running joke now that no Harmonix game features online play. Rock Band 4 didn't feature online play at launch, although it may down the road, and Amplitude is no different. As someone who struggles to find people to play with, at least locally, it's always fun to have the option of playing online. That's something I loved about Rock Band 3, and Rock Band Blitz did have some you know, online features. I wish they would have been more fleshed out but Amplitude really needs online play, I feel. Number three, the thing I don't like is the strange unlock system for songs. So there's 30 songs on disc, but you don't get to unlock them all at the beginning. You have to like unlock them by playing through the career mode and achieving high scores. And if you don't achieve a high score in the career mode, like the first time you play it through, you have to go back to the beginning of the career mode and start from scratch. And it's just really weird why they would use this design choice because the career mode is really not that great. Like you wouldn't have a reason to go back and play it if all the songs were unlocked at the beginning. And number four, the thing I didn't like about Amplitude is that sometimes the game can feel unfair at times. I know the purpose of the game is to switch between tracks and keep your combos going, but sometimes the game just feels super unfair, especially at the higher difficulties. Like it almost feels impossible Possible to keep your combos going. That's something that frustrated me a lot with this game, especially considering the higher difficulties are difficult enough to begin with. 
So that does it for the four things I love and hate about the game. I want to know from you guys, what are you, uh, what do you feel about Amplitude? Are you guys excited about the game and have you played it? Let me know your thoughts, comment below. And as always, guys, if you want to stay up to date on the latest happenings in the world of rhythm gaming, be sure to click the subscribe button. Take care.